Big Game Hour back again with another video and this one is a little bit different. You can tell by the thumbnail. We've got some beers, we've got some owls, we've got some porters, we've got all sorts. We've got Powwow, Brown Owl and Porter. We have got the Aunt Bessies by Northern, Northern Monk mix pack. So you have got a apple crumble and custard powwow. A sticky toffee pudding and custard porter, a jam roly poly and custard powwow, and everyone's favourite, the roast dinner for right now. So, yeah. Uh, so, it's by Northern Monk. Now, they released the jam roly poly ones probably about a year ago, and they're actually not that bad. I quite like the jam roly poly ones, but we're going to be drinking all of them today. We also have a apple crumble and custard powwow. Now they also sell this in a bigger can, obviously, like the 440 mil cans rather than the 330, I believe these are, yeah, 330. They sell them in Morrison's, but we've not seen that the porter come out yet. The sticky toffee pudding and custard porter and uh, we've definitely not seen the roast dinner brown owl so looking by the meat on this I think it's going to be a chicken roast we've got some parsnips we've got some carrots we've got some peas we've got potatoes we've got stuffing Yorkshire puddings and smothered in gravy I think there's even some Swede or something at the back there, but yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be trying all of these, all right? So, there's not better than a Sunday roast dinner at home or down your local pub if these take off, you never know. So, they are they're all coming in at 4.5 percent. So, I've got the ingredients here. They're all pretty much the same, other than the natural flavourings. So we're going to start with the apple crumble and custard powwow, which has water, malt barley, wheat, oats, malt, malt dextrin, malt dextrin, hops, natural flavourings, yeast. There you go. Not much in it. So I've got myself a nice... I was going to go for my little glass, my little beer glass, but I've gone for the Guinness glass because I want to fit the whole can in and I want to finish them all in this video. So hopefully it's not going to be too long. We're going to be necking them. And then I'll give you my honest thoughts on whether they're any good or not. So yeah. That is the first one. The Northern Monk... Apple crumble and custard power. Now it smells god awful. <laughs> but uh cool. It smells very sweet. Can't quite put the uh flavour to it. I wouldn't say it's apple, I wouldn't say it's crumble, I wouldn't say it's custard. But it's got a sink. It's uh coming out a bit cloudy. But yeah, let's uh have a little taste. It's not actually too bad. Probably one of the better ones. I don't know, it's got no taste of an apple crumble though. It just tastes like someone's got a powwow and put a bit of sweeteners in it and sweetened it up. I can't get any, well, I don't know what these natural flavours are that they're putting in it, but that's the only thing that's different to a normal pow -wow. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure you just want to see me nicking them. Alright, so that was... <coughs> Apple and crumble 
apple crumble and custard. I'll probably give that. It's got a bit of a weird aftertaste. I'll probably give that a solid a solid seven out of ten. It's probably going to be the best one out of the ones we're going to try. Here. Solid seven out of ten. So next we have got the jam roly poly and custard pow out. <laughs> It's going to be gassy knocking these back. Right, so this has got one pour in it. Water, malted barley, wheat oats, strawberry puree, plum juice concentrate. The word I can't say. Malto dioxin, I think that's how you say it. Hops, vanilla, natural flavours, and yeast. So we're expecting some strawberry and plum at least coming out of this. The plum, I don't know if you'll taste so much, but with the strawberry, we're actually thinking it's going to be quite sweet. But the plum might cancel that out. So I'll tell you what. They got that one spot on. That smells like a jam roly poly. I definitely smell the jam in it. Right. Here we go. Let's give it a try at the old Guinness glass. Strange one that. You can taste the plum. I thought you'd taste the strawberry. So you get the plum flavour coming through. And then you get a little sweet aftertaste to it. It's very strange. I'm guessing plum's the more fragrant flavour, so that's what's coming out of it rather than the strawberry. Got to add. If you do want to buy these, I got these from Morrison's. I believe they're six pound, so one pound fifty a can. Can't really go wrong, really. Whew. That was quite nice. That I reckon that was better than the apple crumble. <laughs> Very gassy though. <coughs> I'm going to give that a 7.5. It's a little bit better with the flavours and it actually smells like it's meant to taste like what it's meant to be. Rather than the apple crumble that didn't smell of anything. Didn't really taste of anything. And then with that nice little sweet aftertaste of it, it's actually quite nice. So yeah, 7.5. Now, the next one. I'm going to save the roast dinner to last because that has to be saved till last. Next we're going to try the sticky toffee pudding and carrot and custard porter. So yeah, I'm going to a porter, which probably not the wisest things to do. Going off of the powwows, I should have gone to the brown owl first, but I'm going to the porter. So uh, we don't know how this is going to go. Obviously porter's a lot more thicker and darker. More rich. We'll just pour this and I'll tell you what's in it. It's very, very, very rich. This one could be a little bit of a longer setback to drink than the, than the other two. Right, so in the porter we have got... It's actually quite good because I'm actually doing this in the order they've got them in the box. Which it makes a change. Didn't plan that all. Right, so the porter's got water, malt barley, wheat, malt, malton de deoxtin, 
hops, vanilla, natural flavours and yeast. And that is all. God knows what's in the uh, roast dinner one because it's exactly the same ingredients minus the vanilla and everything else the same. Water, malt, barley, wheat, water, deoxin, hops, natural flavours and yeast. That's it. That's all what's in the brown owl. So they're, they're natural flavours. Must be probably just a full dinner being liquidised and put in it. <laughs> right. Does this smell like sticky toffee pudding? No. <laughs> Smells like someone's burnt some caramel. Get a bit of nut smell as well. But yeah, I like porters. They're not as good as starts, but uh, yeah, let's give this one a go. Trying to get some taste out of it. I can't taste sticky toffee pudding in it. It just literally tastes like a caramel pour. So, they haven't quite got that one right. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite nice. Not as nice as the other two. Which is a bit of a shock to me because I do like pours. But, yeah. Prefer the old coffee ones more than uh, anything else. <sighs> Got the old pour though. Gets to you, don't it? They're not as quick to drink as sales. The only good thing is they're not gassy. <sighs> Knocking them back this quick probably ain't good for you either. <laughs> Maybe I should have cut between each one and had a little break. But uh, we're committed now, we're going for it. Right. Oh. Yeah, that, that weren't that good. Not good at all. I'm probably going to give that about a four. That was not good. Gonna <laughs> have a little wash down with some coke. Definitely not a good drink when you've got to wash it down with something else. <coughs> so that leaves us on to the brown owl. The roast chicken dinner one. Well, I finished this one on stream, who knows? I think I'm gonna have a break, wash the glass. I need to use the toilet. Yeah, that one's not good. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry about that. I honestly thought I was gonna be sick, but we managed to survive. I splashed my face with some water. I've had a glass of water. I've had a little bit of fresh air. And yeah, that little 10 minute break. And of course, cleaning the glass has helped us out. We've managed to survive. Though next up we have a roast dinner brown owl, so who knows what's going to happen now. Let's uh, crack it open. Is it going to be brown? It is. We've got a proper dark brown owl here. I 
I still don't think that was too too awful. I reckon it was more for the fact that I've just necked two sweet owls and then had a porter on top of it. So I was probably a bit harsh. I'll probably give that a five to be fair. Five out of ten. It's not bad, but you wouldn't want to have too many of them. Right. Let's see how. Uh, Northern Monk Aunt Bessie's 4.5% roast dinner brown owl does. Quick, firstly, does it smell like a chicken roast dinner? No. It doesn't smell like a roast dinner at all. I can't even tell what that smells like. It's got a lot of artificial smells rather than actual smells in it. Alright. Does it taste like a roast dinner? That's the main question. <sighs> the answer is no. Does it taste better than the porter? <laughs> definitely not. That's definitely the worst one. Here I'm making sure I get every drop of it as well. Oh man. I don't even know what that tastes like. Just normal brown owl, I think. With a weird aftertaste. Kind of get a hint of gravy in it. Out of all the things. Maybe they put gravy granules in it. It's not good though. I'm going to have to give that one a 4 out of 10. And that's being kind to it. <laughs> that's not good. Not good at all. Well, if the last one didn't make me sick, finishing this one will. We're committed now though. We've got to finish the whole box. And then I'm probably going to bed. It is like 11 o'clock at night now. Is it worth the six pound? Probably not. I wouldn't bother. It's not the best. Quite surprising from Northern Monk. They're normally pretty good. But yeah, I think I'm going to call that here. That is the Northern Monk Aunt Bessie's Apple Crumble and Custard. Sticky toffee pudding and custard porter, jam roly poly and custard powwow, and the roast dinner brown owl. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. Give me a sub if you're new here. Let me know in the comments if there's any other weird flavours you'd like to see me try and neck. Because I'm open to trying them. We're not scared to try stuff on this channel. But yeah, all that leaves me to say now is thank you all for watching. And as always, hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. If this brown owl doesn't kill me off. Bye for now.